Chapter 3 of Fortnite is finally here. And with a new chapter comes a new map, new locations to explore, new weapons, and even new secrets to uncover. But the biggest secret of them all might lie right beneath our very feet. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to completely blow your mind. I will all but prove to you that the Chapter 3 map is actually the original map in the future. Guys, just a quick reminder, if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. And over 99% of you watching this video is not subscribed. So do me a favor, click the sub button, and let's get into it. So before we get into the actual specifics, let's take a look at some of the similarities between the new Chapter 3 map and the original map. So you probably already know by now that Greasy Grove, Shifty Shafts, and even some remnants of Luke Lake are all back on this map. But something you might not know is that Tilted Towers is indeed on the Chapter 3 map as we speak. If you look directly above Greasy Grove and Rocky Rills, you see a massive range that has nothing there. But if you look just a little bit closer, there looks to be a city under the snow. And from leakers, we know that this is actually Tilted Towers under the snow. And unironically, it is in the exact same spot that it was on the Chapter 1 map. Other similarities include Greasy Grove being in the exact same spot, the Desert Biome being in the exact same spot, with Condo Canyon being eerily similar to Paradise Palms, the old racetrack being in the exact same spot within the Desert Biome, all the way down to the volcano being in the exact same spot from the Chapter 1 map. Sunny Steps even lies right behind the volcano, just where it used to be. We even see some remnants of Loot Lake, which is where the zero point lied in Chapter 1. So obviously, just locations being in the same place does not mean that we are on the OG map. But don't worry, there's plenty more to this theory. So we know from the Chapter 2 end event that the island has two sides to it with the zero point in the middle. And if we go all the way back to the Chapter 1 end event, the zero point imploded and we were sucked into a black hole. When the black hole spit us out, it simply flipped us and we were put on the other side of the map. Now obviously we were not aware that there was another side to the map, so we just assumed we were in an all new world. And when the black hole put us back out, everyone who was trapped in the loop went to the new map, or the chapter 2 map, while everybody who had escaped the loop but was on the island was put on the flip side, which is where we are now during the chapter 3 map. If you aren't familiar with the loop, basically this is what it means. So the Fortnite island hosts the zero point at the center of it. In the Fortnite universe, the zero point is the center of all realities. And in order to protect the island where it sits, it creates a loop protected by the storm. If you are on the island, you lose all of your memories and you are stuck in a loop in which you replay every 22 minutes. There are two ways to keep your memories intact. Either A, you can wear a specialized airtight suit similar to what we see the visitor or the foundation wear. Or B, you can be the final one remaining inside the storm once the loop is about to reset. This is how Jonesy and some of the other characters were able to escape the loop and retain their memories. But escaping the loop does not mean you can get off the island as you will still be stuck there unless you find a rift out. So in chapter 1, there were threats such as the IO trying to manipulate the zero point. This is when the Seven sent some of their members to our side of the island to protect it. When they rifted in, they were actually just coming from the other side of the island, which is what we now know as the chapter 2 map. And once the zero point became unstable, the Seven decided that they had to do something drastic. In order to prevent the zero point from becoming completely unstable and ending all realities, they had to set it back to the beginning. Doing this would put the zero point back to the middle of the island where it belonged and where it would be protected. But it also ended up flipping our realities and putting the loopers on the other side and putting the people trapped in the loop on the chapter 2 map. So basically the entire time that we were exploring chapter 2, the 7 and all of the loopers were on the other side on our original island. And you might be wondering how this is possible because if you look at the map we are on now, it doesn't look exactly like the original map. 
and that is because during chapter 2, the zero point was manipulated with once again and time was altered. During chapter 2, season 6, remember the zero point sent us back to the primal age. Since the other side of the island is still under the zero point loop, they were sent back to the primal ages as well. This explains why so many of the chapter 3 POIs look very similar to chapter 1, but they're slightly different. Basically, when we were sent back to the primal age, everything had to be rebuilt from scratch and it was built just a little bit different than it was the original time. An example of this is Kondo Canyon. It looks very, very similar to Paradise Palms. It's even in the same location and in the same biome, but it looks a little different. Something else that happened with the original chapter one end event was that some of the locations on the map actually flip sides as well which is why Pleasant Park, Retail Row, and Salty Springs were all on the Chapter 2 map. Those basically got rifted to that side of the map and they were replaced on the Chapter 3 map, which is also the Chapter 1 map. That's why we never got Tilted Towers, Greasy Grove, Shifty Shafts, or any of the other Chapter 1 locations because they were literally on the other side the entire time. On the Chapter 3 map, we can actually see the robot's arm found in the water on top of this, there's a location where the snow dips in and it sounds like we can hear a monster underneath. This sounds a lot like the robot versus monster event that we saw in chapter one, season nine. And remember, if everything got sent back to the primal age and things happened a little bit differently, maybe the monster actually defeated the robot this time. And that would explain why the monster is still alive. And remember, the monster was underneath Polar Peak, which is no longer there. So more than likely the monster would have gone and destroyed Polar Peak. Now I'm going to take the theory one step further. Remember all the way back in chapter one when the zero point was first altered with? This is around the same time that we got the desert biome and that eventually in season X, locations such as Greasy Grove were rifted back onto the island. But if you noticed, Greasy Grove was slightly different. Instead of the Durr Burger, it featured the taco shop. This location was actually rifted in from the future. The future that was eventually going to be built after we went back to the primal age. Now, I know that can be confusing, but if you continue to put it together, it makes sense. Basically, when the black hole happened and we flipped to the other side of the island, everything remained mostly intact. The only things that changed were a few of the locations kind of switching sides, such as Retail Row, Pleasant Park, and Salty Springs. But when the zero point was exposed and we went back to the primal ages, that's when everything changed. Everything was then built back up from scratch and although it was similar, it was slightly different. That's what eventually created the locations to be slightly different and some biomes were even changed such as the desert because the land just grew a little bit differently this time around. So back in chapter one, when we had some different biomes and locations were slightly different that came back such as Greasy Grove, it was because it was rifted in from the future that was about to be created. And one more thing to keep in mind. Since the seven were able to flip the island and take us to the other side, it's very possible that we have now escaped the memory loop. And if we have all of our original memories intact, we could end up building this island to exactly what we remember it in chapter one. With our memories intact, we also might be able to build out our original weapons such as the pump shotgun and the original assault rifle. So basically what I'm saying is, keep a lookout for things starting to become even more similar to where it was in chapter one, because I believe that's where we're heading. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around through the end of the video. If you like this theory, please leave a like on the video and comment your favorite part of it or comment how you think it's actually different. I would love to know your thoughts and actually have a conversation with you about it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn notifications on. I stream on Twitch, so make sure to go follow me over there. I'll put the link below and then we can discuss this entire theory in detail. You guys have a great day. Peace.